Hello and welcome to your new video about measurement. This time we are talking about another method how to measure level, yeah? filling level in a tank. Well, this method is called displacement method and I will show, briefly explain how it is working. So we do have some displacement body here. Yeah? This will always stay roughly at the same position. Yeah? Here it is and here outside we have a force transducer for instance so we have here applied the force all right and here we have output for instance current yeah, 4 to 20 milliamps something like this yeah. so actually if we are filling this up yeah, here we have some usually air yeah, so we have something with the density rho 1. Yeah? Here something with the density rho 2. Yeah? And if the density be rho 1 and the density of this, yeah? of the displacement body, yeah? this must not be equal to rho 1. Yeah? So usually it's bigger. Yeah? Bigger than rho 1. So if this is more, is heavier per square decimeter by, by volume, by volume, yeah? then if we're filling this up, we're filling here up this this volume, yeah? which is a function of the level. Yeah? Here we have the head. This is the thing you want to measure, right? And because those are different, the densities are different, we will reach a force which is pressing against our force transducer. So here the force is actually a, a function of V. Yeah? So the force is also a function of the filling. Okay? Because simply this material yeah, is shifting this material. It's like it's like how 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 vessels swim, right? Ships. Same principle. So if we have here, yeah, this is only true, this is always true, yeah, and this is only true only when density T1 and are constant. Usually this means same pressure. And temperature. All right. So if we have the same pressure and temperature, then those densities are constant, and then this is really a function of the of, of the filling of the height, and that's it. Yeah? That's it. So the benefit forces can be measured really accurate. Yeah? It's accurate. And the downside I have also already implied. Yeah? This is uh, depending depending on density. Of used medium. Okay, if the density is changing too much, this is not this is not working. Yeah? And how can we separate this? Well, there can be, for instance, a torsion step or something like this. This can be separated quite nicely. However, we need some effort. Yeah? Effort in mechanical construction. Yeah, so this is the method level displacement. Just put in a swimmer and measure how badly the swimmer wants to reach the top. <laughs>
actually. That sums it up. Next time, we're talking about hydrostatic pressure measurement, how this is working. We all have similar, similar advantages, disadvantages. We will see next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.